have you tried to tie a goat that is stubborn before he will try to break by force see and somebody says something jokingly and i laugh you see have you ever seen a barbecue where they're eating lion because it's hard to even kill a lion talk less of doing barbecue of it now the animal where they rain why and they kill him anyhow in the days chicken we start fighting real serious fighting people cannot deal with them there are some animals that have poison in their body to even go and touch them is a problem in the days of revival you find an advantage in god so that you become untouchable because men that bring revival are men you can't kill they are untouchable because they are men and women of fire see let nobody tell you we will not be confronted people will come to try to attack us they will try to kill us but in the days of revival we are not coming because of men we are coming because of god and either way when you think you are our enemy god will fight two times ten in the days of revival no man fight for himself god fight for him and i'm trying to let you understand that if you can sustain this fire of god god himself will defend your cause god himself will fight for you whether in your school whether in your business whether in anything that concerns you god will fight for you because there is call ebenezer the stone of help there is that god that helped men in the days of adversity where did the revival go so one of the greatest challenge of a believer is sustaining the fire sustaining the revival sustaining it because it's possible for you to be on fire after two weeks you lose the fire after three weeks you lose the fire but if the thing comes that means it can remain how comes it comes and it went away something has happened something has happened where did the revival go one of the things that make revival fail or make revival go in the lives of men is negligence of asian landmarks negligence of asian landmarks let me tell you let me tell you if any time there is something that you do that bring the fire of god upon you you have to continue to do it to maintain the fire of god see fasting is not when you are hungry prayer is not when you are in trouble studying the word is not when you want to go and preach no this thing has to be your lifestyle these are the things that you did that make the fire of god come upon your life in the days of revival men continue to do this thing as a lifestyle it never come to a point where you become a stranger in the presence of God. You become a stranger in the corridors of God. Never come to a point where even to open to the book of John. Job, you don't know. The book of John, you don't know. Match, you don't know. Never come to a point where it's hard for you to stay away from food for just three hours. That was not how you began. How comes you ended up in that? There are some of you hearing me here that you have never fasted. See, I have a special plan for you. You know, every ministry is to do fasting and prayer. Do you know that? 10 days fasting, 21 days fasting. You, you know that? Just because we don't have a venue yet, if not, we to declare one month of prayer and fasting every day. And let me tell you the truth, you may come to the next service, you come with fasting. And anybody that eat food and come, thunder, 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 thunder with strife. So it's better you come very hungry so that if we die, we die here. If we want to fast, we put a curse so that any Achan should die. We don't want a situation where God will come and judge all of us because of you. Because when God looks at us, He looks at us sometimes as a plateau. And when you know how things happen in plateau, if one person made mistake, everybody is judged. So before you will come and judge us, we will pray and say, God, we present any disobedient servant unto you, judge him by yourself. So for adventure, we are in service, somebody will fall down and we may have to lay hands. And the problem that why the person is crying is because he ate food before he came. So he think he was going to have strength. When he come here, he's the one that fell down, stomach is turning him. And we that came hungry, we are the one on fire. Kaka, keke, 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 bobo. We have been to prayer meetings before. They say fast. The people that ate came and were praying. They were vomiting, vomiting the food out. In the days of judgment, the days of revival, you cannot be too wise. My friends, if it was prayer that brought you this far, prayer will keep you this far it was fasting you were doing before you must have to keep on fasting if you were spending time studying you will have to do it if you used to worship god all the time you will have to do it when was the last time you locked yourself inside you alone with god negligence of the ancient part the pathways of the fathers is the pathway of separation how they separated themselves unto god there was a time where the fire of god came upon you what happened to you that time that you got filled with the holy ghost and every day in your house your mother said why are you praying too much you say mommy you will not understand there is a fire there is an urgency what happened to that fire what happened to it 
oh sister i remember when you used to disturb everybody in fellowship you are praying we say stop you don't want to stop why are you stopping now where did the revival go oh brother you are the one that used to burn you are the one that used to pack people gather them together and pray i knew how your room was a place where people gather to pray now is a place where people watch season films and watch jokes what happened to the fire is it not you that used to listen to message 24 hours before how comes you have been replacing it with something else what happened to the fire what happened to the fire because god can never dwell where his fire is not there god can never dwell where his fire is not there no wonder the bible says he make his angels wings his ministers are what a flame of fire we have to retrace again the ancient landmarks of our fathers how did our fathers encounter god by separation by consecration and by prayer so part of the thing that make revival to fail i'm telling you is a lack of consecration why have how comes all of a sudden the consecration upon man is lost the commandment the instruction that god gave man is lost i remember when the lord has given an instruction what to do now what is happening to it there are so many of you that i'm telling you the truth you used to be the most serious people in church what happened to it now the time you used to clean the toilet the time you used to come very early to church the time you used to do everything nobody no grudging nothing nothing now you are using your mind to calculate everything the concentration of god upon your life is part of the requirement to sustain the revival the day you lose that concentration the revival go i bring you the story of samuel he understood his concentration and he know what he ought to do I bring you the story of Samson. He understood his concentration. He knew what to do. The day immediately he lost that concentration, the power left him. You must be able to understand that every level of commitment of God upon your life has a kind of concentration. It may be the once in a week, one hour prayer you do, two times in a week prayer you used to do. It may be the every day, one, one hour, two, two hours. It may be it. You must maintain it by force. I know many of you that used to be on WhatsApp group that used to do prayer. What happened to it? You are the one that used your hand to delete the WhatsApp group. You remove everybody and you delete. You say, I'm tired of this thing. Where did the revival go? Where? And there is one lady that time on campus. We got this lady filled with the Holy Ghost. After she got filled with the Holy Ghost, the fire came too much. In fact, she became too serious than us. Every night she would call us. Are we not praying this night? Are we not praying this night? Are we not praying this night? I knew it was a matter of time. Initial gara gara. When the people that feel you with the Holy Ghost are calm, you, you are asking us, when are we doing prayer? When are we doing prayer? I, I said, well, how long will this lady keep asking this question? So we tell her that we do till, uh, we used to pray on Tuesday, say, it's too far. We should come today. There's a body. I said, there's a body. So she, we used to connect us. How many of you know Esther Ku? Some of you are too small. You don't have a boyfriend that time. Esther Ku. That time the MTN will allow you to make call from 12. But you must have 100 naira in your account. There was one day I made a mistake. It was all up to 12. I dialed the number. They removed my one naira. 12 knowledge. 12 knowledge. I can't call. I call it. You finish your account as expires. Yeah, Extra cool. When you want to remain very cool at night, you call a lady. At night, then you are cool. Eh? People are doing night with you talking. At that time, that lady caught the fire. The lady will keep on calling us. She will connect all of us in the shaku. And paka papa, takata, sakata, ketaka, kaka. Every night. Some days I'm trying to sleep. I will see a call. I will pick. Fire, fire. The fire came. The revival came. And every time when we do that prayer, by six o'clock, she will release the visions and the dreams that she had about us. Let me tell you where the revival go. Because as I'm talking to you right now, I don't know where she is. Because the time came, she was not calling every day again. After two days, she would call. After three days, as I say, so many things happened. So many things happened. It was later that we realized the devil is wise. The gods are wise. You see, the gods are looking at you and you think you are wise. Suddenly, so she wake up one day, she said she got a job somewhere and, you know, that job, the choir had to work at night and it was night shift. So those kind of time, where she used to call us that extra good time she's in the office so she can't shout a prayer again so she have to actually even if she call she can't pray so she will just be there because she don't want to offend her boss where did the revival go and immortals do not care whether she needed a job because she was the one that asked quickening us 
and we shall call upon thy name so before you ask god for fire have a preparation what you want to do with it first because when the fire of god come i don't know about it but sometimes we in school lecture can be going on we are at the backside playing there are days that we are having exam the next day i went to class to read and the holy ghost carried me to the book of hebrews actually read it first and i'm trying to read my hand that i cannot i was confused until i read hebrews chapter 6 and i finish it when you ask for this fire eh, you must be prepared for what it brings because you may want to eat food that the holy ghost say don't eat today you may want to go out and leave your room you say don't go out and you have work you you your or god they call you say work day you want to go holy ghost say stay with me now stay with me now stay with me and as you want to go you look, you look as though you are a sinner not because of anything but because in the days of this revival when you don't pray in a day you will be like a sinner you will feel guilty you will be moody your mood will swing not this mood swing that ladies do when you don't send them money the one that the holy ghost make you have the mood swing you are like why are you bitter today i didn't pray today you mean you didn't pray and you are worried yes i didn't you won't understand the revival the fire it was not long enough because the lady was no longer praying by that 12 together with us a time came the devil orchestrated a guy and one day she was coming out from the office and she met a guy the guy came with a very big frame very big like this and the flame had one of her best picture and he came to it and presented to her he said oh how he loved me she forgot where the fire was and before a while those times that we used to use to do prayer she used it to do cool with a guy the guy promised her abroad, promised her US, promised her Italy, promised her everything. Later on, we now realize that actually the guy was a lie. All the Italy, all the UK, all the US was a very big lie. But it was too late because he has taken, he has done his assignment in her life. The assignment of the guy was to take away that revival. And so long as that one is gone, now she can know the truth. Do what you want to do now that you know. See, when God placed something upon your head, don't trade it for nothing. In the days of revival, men are willing to guard that ordination jealously. Don't say you are small. You are the one that thinks you are small. When the devil sees what God has put inside of you, he's jealous of it. And because he will fight you until he gets it. So everything can be a distraction. Everything. 